this journey of self-discovery is very uncomfortable. This journey of self-creation of like, who really are you? Are you what you have been raised to think you are? Uh, you're listening to the Luke Mind Power podcast, man. This is crazy shit when you start to pay attention to what I'm talking about. Are you really who you think you are? Or have you just been conditioned and programmed because of the experiences and people in your life and how your family raised you to make you think that you are the way that you are, which is not really who you are because you haven't taken the time to figure out who the fuck you are because you haven't spent enough time with yourself, exploring life, exploring the possibilities of who it is that you could be. I'm Luke and you're listening to the Luke Mind Power podcast. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode on the Luke Mind Power podcast. It is such a blessing to be here with you. Another day, another opportunity to grow, another opportunity to reflect on your life and realize that you are amazing and that you wouldn't have got this far if you weren't powerful. Okay, just a quick reminder. But before we get into this amazing episode, a quick shout out to Sunshine Ambazina. The link is in the description below on YouTube. Check out her amazing amber that she sells uh, she has different auctions that she does on YouTube, live on YouTube. If you love Amber and these kind of fashion accessories, you're going to love Sunshine Amberzina. She's absolutely, absolutely extraordinary. She's also a distant cousin of mine, and she played a massive, massive part of my transformation, part of my journey of self-discovery back in 2019 when I didn't even know that I had a cousin in Chicago. And I never actually told you the story about her, but her name is Majana. In 2019, when uh, I was thinking of going to the US because I got invited to speak at uh, an event after doing a speaking program in 2018, I'm thinking of going to this conference, to the Mind Valley Conference in, in March 2019, right? And I'm going to the US. So I'm thinking, okay, I don't want to just go there for three days to the conference. And I'm just thinking about stuff. And so I, I knew that my sister was talking to a family member from Chicago, and that was Majena. And so that's why if you if you see the name, right, that I'm talking about, Sunshine Amber Zina, because the end of her name, Marzena, which is Marzina, it's Sunshine Amber Zina, Z-E-N-A. And so I reached out to her on Facebook and I said, hey, I'm coming to the US and I'd love to come and meet you. This is, I'll tell you who it is. It's my dad's first cousin's daughter. And so I reached out to her personally. I said, hey, I'm coming to, to America. I would love to come and stop by for a few days and meet you um, and obviously meet my dad's first cousin, which who I've never met before in my life, which is her mum. And so basically I spent about three days there. I met her, her other siblings as well. And, you know, I got to spend a few days with them and I connected with her like just it was like as if we'd known each other for years. And then I left, I went back to Australia. And then four weeks later, I decided to come back to the US for another conference with Lisa Nichols. And then, but before I came, I actually was like stuck because I was at my sister's place and I was thinking, what am I going to do now? Like I was trying to tune in, what am I supposed to do, right? And and I know I was just like sharing with you to go subscribe, but I got to tell you the story. Like, who is this person, right? Because you're like Sunshine Ambazina, go and check out her auctions. You're thinking, uh, you know, what is he marketing or what, who is he sharing, right? And I'm like, I'm telling you who this is. I'm stuck there in Sydney at my sister's house and I'm thinking, what do I do now? It's around April, 2019. And I'm like, I just came back from Mind Valley reunion conference. Uh, I've met all these amazing people that I was doing a speaking program with back in September, 2018. And I'm like, what do I do? And so I don't know, I had this calling and somebody who was helping me at the time during my speaking program, uh, one of the ambassadors, she gave me a free ticket to the Lisa Nichols event, which was speak and write in, two, in, in April, 2019, which was you know, obviously after the, the event that I was um, already at in, in Los Angeles for Mind Valley, So I came back to Australia, I got this free ticket and I'm thinking, what do I do? Do I stay in Australia or do I go back to the US and go to this speak and write conference? So I was like, well, I'm on this journey of self-discovery, man. I'm on this journey of transformation. I'm on this journey of healing. I'm on this journey of next level. I'm in this journey of greatness. I'm on this journey of like becoming someone I've never been before. And if you want to become someone you've never been before, you've got to do shit you've never done before. You've got to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to network. You've got to do stuff, right? So I decided, I'm like, you know what? No, I'm going to go back to the US. I'm going to go to this conference with Lisa Nichols. And so what did I do? I thought about my, my distant cousin in Chicago and I messaged her straight away because I had such a strong connection with her. And I said, hey, Majena, I said, listen, this is how I'm feeling right now. I said, would it be okay if I came? Because guys, I just wanted, this is what happens when you start to evolve and grow. This is how I felt. I wanted to disconnect myself from my family, my friends and everything that I'd ever known. 
the religion I was raised in, the culture, everything. I wanted to, I wanted to discover who is Luke apart from, disconnected from how he was raised and what he was raised in and who he was raised with. And this is why this journey of self-discovery is very uncomfortable, this journey of self-creation of like, who really are you? Are you what you have been raised to think you are? Uh, You're listening to the Luke Mind Power podcast, man. This is crazy shit when you start to pay attention to what I'm talking about. Are you really who you think you are? Or have you just been conditioned and programmed because of the experiences and people in your life and how you how your family raised you to make you think that you are the way that you are, which is not really who you are because you haven't taken the time to figure out who the fuck you are because you haven't spent enough time with yourself, exploring life, exploring the possibilities of who it is that you could be. Ugh, I know. You're like, damn, slow down, bro. And so I reached out to her and I said, hey, Majena. I'm thinking of coming back and I was wondering, would you be willing to have me? Cause they've got a beautiful big house, man, in, in Chicago. And I was like, would you be willing to have me stay at your place for like a couple of months, like three months? Cause I knew my, my visa, like for Australian people, for, for anyone who was Australian passport was 90 days, a tourist visa. And so I just reached out to her and I just said, would you be willing to have me stay at your place? And man, she was open. You know, she was open. She spoke to her husband and she messaged me back and she said, we'd love to have you. Freaking three weeks later, man, I was back in the US. And this is the crazy thing. This is how shit changes, guys. So I went to the conference. And that's why I say that life will change when you say yes. You know, if you start investing in yourself, you start doing a program, start working with a coach, you start, you know, investing in yourself, you start becoming a better version, you start like loving, learning to love yourself, setting boundaries, doing what's right for you. You have to keep saying yes. If you don't keep saying yes, your journey stops. I'm at this conference with Lisa Nichols. I'm sitting in the back and she starts talking about her coaching speaking program, Speakers Mastermind. And she brings up one of her students and I'm sitting in the back in the Um, I haven't even gone to my cousin's place, by the way, I'm sitting in the back of the conference and I'm looking at this speaker that's come up that has completed Lisa Nichols program. And I'm listening to her speak and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I need to do this. Like I felt like this calling, like I felt it within myself, you know, and Lisa's on stage talking and, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I need to do this freaking program. And as soon as Lisa said, is there anyone who is interested in in joining and doing the speaker's mastermind? Because we have a couple of openings that are coming up. Mate, I was fucking put my hand up. And this is what happens, guys, when you invest in yourself. You know, when you feel connected to someone and Lisa Nichols, she spoke to my soul. I was learning from her from the moment I met her at Mind Valley in September 2018 when I started doing Speak and Inspire, that program. And I felt I was started listening to her videos. I was on YouTube and I was listening to Lisa Nichols. I was listening to her videos and I was just so connected to her message, her story, the way she spoke, you know, so you're talking to someone who has been trained by the best. I'm in the back of this conference. She says, is anyone who wants to take action, who wants to do this program? I'm like, yes, please. And she said, as soon as we're finished here, please, everyone who's interested, go to the back of the room and we'll talk further. So I went to the back to the corner there. She said, for anyone who wants to get started, this is the price. I put my hand up. I said, I'm ready. Let's fucking go. And I went and I made my first payment. And then, and it was for, I think it was in the end of June. So I was, it was in between the time. So I found that they had a workshop for this three or four day speakers mastermind in person with Lisa Nichols. And and it was in end of June, which is obviously still in between the time that I'm going to be in the US, which is at my, at. Marjana's house. So I paid. And then what happened after that event? I went to Chicago. So while I was in Chicago, what was I doing? I was doing Instagram lives. I was going live with different people on Instagram. I was posting content. You know, uh, I then got inspired by Mark Pyers. I was live with him on Instagram. He goes, Luke, you're in Chicago. Go to uh, all the open mics in Chicago. You're in the best place. Go and get out of your comfort zone. Go and go and speak in front of people at these open mics. And I'm like, open mics, that's for pe- comedians. That's for rappers. That's for musicians a motivational speaker, someone's going to get up in front of people and speak. I was like, what? I was like, nah, man. But guess what? It scared me. And so I went on to Google straight away and I said, yeah, uh, open mic Chicago. And it said the best open mic Chicago, common ground, uncommon ground it was called. And so then I took my action. I went and asked uh, Majena's husband, I go, hey, could I take the car to downtown so I can go to these open mics and talk? And he's like, okay, no problem. Majena is not just someone who has now created her own business and she is doing these auctions with this amazing, uh, these stones from Poland, this amber, 
and, and she creates fashion accessories, but she is someone who fucking helped me become who I am. Like that is the woman that I'm directing you guys to in the description below on YouTube. The link is there. Go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. If you're interested in more about who she is and her fashion accessories and the amber that I'm wearing on my neck right now, it's from her because there's so much more that she has. But she helped me become who I am, man. She played a major part. And when I went and saw her this year, which was freaking last month, I went and spent only a couple of days with her before I was traveling to North, uh, to North Carolina. But man, I was like, I saw her and I was, I, I felt like I came home and I hugged her so much. And I was just like, fucking hell, I don't think you realize what you've done. You know, how much you helped me by just opening your heart and saying, yes, come and stay with us for three months. And you know how much of a big deal that is? Because I needed that. I needed to get away from my family. I needed to get away from Australia. I needed to spend more time with Luke. I needed to figure out who am I? Anyway, that's the story with this Amber. So if you don't follow Sunshine Amber Zena, is spelt in English, Sunshine Amber Zena, um, on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to her YouTube channel because she has these auctions where she sells these amazing, amazing fashion accessories. Um, and then the next thing that I want to quickly show you is FYIG. A big shout out to Peter Opetal. Peter, I think it's underscore Opetal, O-P-E-T-A-L on Instagram. Peter is one of my clients um, from Melbourne. He was sharing a story in our, one of our group coaching, ses coaching sessions. He was sharing a story about his boss. And so I'm just holding out FYIG, and I'll tell you what this means, right? But he was sharing a story about his uh, boss, and he was really unhappy with his job that he was working in. And, you know, we were, we were in a breakout room. It was me and, um, you know, five other um, men, clients, kings that we call them uh, in our group coaching program. And he was talking about his experience with his boss and, you know, what was happening. And then he got to a point in the conversation where he goes, you know what, I've, I like, I, I'm done. Like I, I'm getting to this point where I'm just going to set myself up to win. And then I'm going to fucking, I'm going to walk up to my boss and I'm just going to say, fuck you. I'm good. And many of us are not in that position to be, you know, if you're in a job that you don't like, if you're in a place of life where you're not happy, what we want to do is we want to set ourselves up to win. We want to set ourselves up so good that we don't have to rely or stay in a toxic environment or in a toxic relationship or in a space that isn't adding value to our life. It's not empowering us. And that was where he was with his work. Peter is one of my clients um, from Melbourne and he wasn't happy. And then he got to this place where he was talking about it in our coaching session and he's like, fuck you, I'm good. And all of us that were in the breakout room, we just pissed ourselves laughing. And I was like, I couldn't, at first I didn't hear him. And I was, and, and everyone else started laughing. And I was like, what did you just fucking say? Fuck you, I'm good. And I was like, yeah, you know, sometimes we have to get to this point in our life where we are in a toxic relationship or in, when we're in a shit experience at work or family or whatever it is where we're not happy. And we have to be confident enough to go, you know what? Fuck you, I'm good. I don't need you. Because so many of us are attached to things that we don't want to be attached to, but because of the circumstances or the money or whatever it is, we can't do it. We can't leave. You know, we can't be free. This is about your freedom. So I'm just going to move around because I want you to see what's on the back of this fucking shirt. It says, it says, fuck you, I'm good, but with the X, right? Which is kind of my branding and stuff. But big shout out to you, Peter, because I've got to give you credit, man. And, I, and if you don't follow, um, you're probably not following Peter on Instagram, but if you do want to follow him, his name's Peter. And you'll see he's got this shirt on his Instagram. Um, and I want to give him a big shout out because if you want one of these freaking FYIG shirts, he was the one that came up with it. He freaking decided he, he wanted to make shirts. And then he's like, Luke, I want to send you a shirt. So if you want one of these fucking shirts, okay, all you got to do is send him a message on Instagram and go, Peter, give me one of those, send me one of those shirts. How do I buy one of those shirts? Okay. Um, and Peter has been someone who has inspired all of us in, in our co coaching community because he's just so passionate about growth and loving himself and growing. And I met him in Melbourne. He came to our Melbourne event. Um, and so, you know, I couldn't help but, you know, give him a massive shout out because I know you're probably looking at the shirt FYIG and you're like, what does that mean? And I'm like, yeah, it means fuck you. I'm good. You know, um, it may not be for everyone and that's okay. Um, but if it's something that makes sense for you and you feel like, you know, that resonates with you, then send Peter a message. It's Peter underscore Opetal, O-P-E. 
T-A-L. And you'll find him on Instagram. You'll see the, the profile. It'll have the shirt on it. Uh, but anyway, moving forward. So, Peter, bro, keep going, man. You're amazing. You're a fucking legend. Um, anyway, guys, let's keep moving forward. So one of the things that's most important uh, on in your life every single day, you know, every day there's some challenge. Every day there's something that happens. Some days are amazing. Some days it's sunny and beautiful. Other days it's fucking thunderstorming. It's raining. It's stressful. There's always shit going on. So the most important thing that I just want to remind you is don't give up. Okay. Everything is temporary. There's always challenges. There's always things that are going to happen in your life on a daily basis that are also going to teach you what you need to learn. And, you know, as I was talking to one of my private clients today, I was like, listen, man, it's hard. There's going to be, there's going to be shit that happens. There's going to be stressful situations in the moment. Guess what? You're going to feel like quitting. You're going to feel like quitting. You know, you're going to feel like it's fucking too much. I'm overwhelmed. I can't deal with this and this and this and this and this and this. It's too much. Fuck, I can't do it. And the truth is, that's how it is. And so in that moment, it's like, well, how do I handle it? Do I drink alcohol? Do I smoke a joint? Do I have a line of Coke? Do I fucking watch porn? Whatever the fuck it is that's going to help you escape reality. Watch fucking binge watch Netflix. Fucking turn your phone off so that I don't have to fucking think about nothing. Right? What is it that you do? Everybody has some form of escapism because we have to go, how do I handle what I'm fucking going through? How do I process this shit? Do I, you know, you call your best friend, fucking talk it out, you know, whatever. My purpose of why I'm sharing this with you is because there's not a quick fix. I'm not going to freaking sit here and go, it's okay, guys. Like, it's going to be fine. No, it's not. In the moment when you're going through stress, when you're going through shit, it is hard. This too shall pass. It will. But in the moment of adversity, challenge, stress, uncomfortable experiences, guess what? It's shit. It's crap. You know? And it affects the spirit of your day. It affects everything. It affects your work. It affects your energy. It affects what you're going through. It affects what you need to focus on, what you need to do. So this is just a reminder, especially if you're going through this right now. If you're going through a tough day. It's just a reminder that it's going to be a tough day. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and go, don't worry, it's going to work out because it, it will always work out. You will always find a way. But in the moment, I'm just here to be with you in this moment to let you know that, yeah, it is shit. I feel it. I know it. I go through shit as well. You know, it's not always easy, breezy, freaking like nice and cheesy, fucking whatever, rhyming crap. Like it is, it's, 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 it's uncomfortable, man. I'm just because I'm doing podcasts and content and I do my speaking and events and everything that I do coaching and all that doesn't mean my life is all perfect and handy dandy and shit. It's fucking hard, man. There's shit going on all the time, but you have to keep persevering along your calling, along what it is that you're doing and focusing on what you want to achieve. You know, there's always going to be someone chucking a brick at you and it's going to fucking hurt. You know, and that's why you need to keep persevering because the more you keep persevering, the more powerful you become to be able to deflect those fucking bricks. And the more that you can become aware of the experiences that you're dealing with that are shit, the more that you will build your armor so that when people chuck shit at you, you're strong enough to keep fucking walking and you don't even turn around because we don't turn around for fucking people who are barking at us. You're a fucking lion. And this is a reminder for you to keep fucking forging forward, keep fucking moving forward, keep pushing forward, keep showing up, keep standing up, keep not giving up because you made it this far. And if you made it this far, you ain't going to fucking give up. You're going to keep moving forward. So another thing that's coming up, uh, 4th of January, guys, make sure that you take some massive action because the link is in the description below is you are going to join us either live in person or virtually for the Unlock Your Greatness conference in Sydney with extraordinary Luke Mindpower, myself, and the amazing DJ Danilo is in the house. Yes, we are doing an event together, and you've been watching us dance. You've been seeing us freaking blow up on social media and, and, uh, and uh, create amazing content for you guys to vibe with, and you love freaking how we uh, connect and, and uh, his energy, my energy. And this is your opportunity to join us in person or virtually at the Luke Mindbauer Danilo Conference. Uh, Unlock Your Greatness, it's called, um, in Sydney on the 4th of January, 2024. 
It is at the QT Hotel in Sydney Market Street. It's going to be absolutely extraordinary. And if I was you, I would get your ass on, click the link below, click and get your tickets ASAP because it is going to sell out very, very quickly. There's only limited seats available. Um, and so the rest will be on um, live stream. So if you don't get a ticket in person, then then you will be able to get live stream tickets and there's plenty of those, okay? But that's just a reminder that 4th of January, 2024, there is a uh, Unlock Your Greatness live event, uh, the conference in, it is a full day conference, right? So it's nine to four. And then there is a VIP party after party with myself and Danilo uh, meet and greet and networking with all the amazing people who want to join us. It is a VIP opportunity for you to have a bit of a party with us. We've got some cocktails, some nice finger food, canapes and stuff like that from five to 7 p.m. So two hours of a bit of mingling, networking, um, and of course, we're going to dance together. We are also going to create an extraordinary TikTok video together with everybody who does join us in the VIP party. So if you have been one of those people on social media that has been going, I want to dance with you guys. If you're in Sydney or if you're in Australia, or wherever you are in the world, you want to come and be a part of this extraordinary experience, then you better get your tickets. All you need to do is click the link in the description below and get your ass there to Sydney on the 4th of January, 2024. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. And I can't wait to help you to start 2024 on the best foot, the right foot, uh, and get yourself prepared for an extraordinary year because 2024 is going to be the year that is going to be the best year that you will remember for the rest of your life. And I'm going to make sure of that when you join us for this extraordinary event. Okay. So as you can tell, guys, if you're listening and you've been listening to the Luke Mind Power podcast for a long time, uh, this is called growth. You know, this is called perseverance. This is called never giving up. You know, me doing events and talking about that, like, at first, I wasn't doing coaching, I didn't have a program. Now you hear me talk about you know, my coaching and my clients and all that kind of stuff. Why? Because I'm living and breathing it. Yeah. That's one of the things that I'm doing. It's like I got, I travel the world and I freaking dance and I post and I create content, you know, it's, it's very amazing. And it's, I'm very grateful and blessed to be doing what I'm doing, but I wouldn't be able to do it with my amazing team. I have an amazing manager that I work with now, um, who really looks after me and, and, um, you know, helps me, um, all the time. So, you know, my team definitely is a big, big part of my success because I would not be able to be where I'm at if I didn't have an extraordinary team that supports me. Um, because having to deal with what I deal with and, and everything that I've built, um, is not, I can't do it on my, by myself. I can't, you know, even my, my, you know, it's just, I've got a, like so many people that I work with and I'm, I'm so grateful for everyone. And this is the most important thing that you want to question yourself is who I'm surrounding myself with. Does it add value to my life? Does it inspire me? Does it empower me? Does it lift me up? Because if it does, then you want to stay close to that. And that's just the hard truth. That's the facts. So that's something that I've learned. And as long as it makes sense to me, it add value, it's add, adding value to my life. Uh, that's something that you want to hold on to, you know, and you know, the truth is, as you also evolve, you know, there are things that you're going to have to learn to let go of as well. And that's also the uncomfortable part. But you got to understand that self love is the major key to your transformation and success. Because when you learn to love yourself, you'll do exactly what's right for you. And it doesn't need to make sense to anyone else. The truth is people are always going to judge what they don't understand. And it's not your job to go around and over explain yourself and talk to people and tell people your plans and tell them why you're doing what you're doing. That's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to keep evolving because if you don't keep evolving, you'll just repeat. And sometimes if you don't keep evolving, what will happen is you'll drop your vibrational frequency to the people or to the level that you are continuing to surround yourself with. And you want to pay attention to that because some people are on a lower vibrational frequency than you. And if you're someone who's continuously leveling up, you will be limiting yourself because you're staying at the same level because people in your proximity are not growing. And if they are not growing and they're not leveling up, they are going to force you to come down. And so this is something that I've learned, but this is something that you just have to pay attention to. And it's not something that you have to be angry about for other people or be, you know, you know, like angry at people or whatever. It just means that you are growing and you have to do what's right for you. That's why the power of self-love is so important. Okay. And I know that this can be confusing for many people and it's hard to let people go and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you've got to understand that your calling is greater. You're on a mission here, you know, not everybody gets who you are. Not everybody appreciates your power and who it is that you are and your greatness and stuff like that. And that's why you have to protect it at all costs. And it's not your responsibility to try to convince other people of who you are and how they should be treating you. 
It's your responsibility to define yourself, to know yourself, to love yourself, to do what's right for you, and to know that you are making the right decisions. Not that you need validation or approval for, from other people, from other people saying, you know, hey, man, yeah, do your thing. You know, yeah, that's cool. You can grow or you can keep leveling up or whatever. Yeah, I understand. No, it's not about that. It's about you understanding yourself. If you understand yourself and you got your own back, that's the most important thing. This is going to take a lot of self-awareness unconditional love for you to appreciate because it's very easy if you're not in unconditional love then you're in ego and when you're in ego guess what you're doing you're judging other people the only reason why you judge other people is because you just don't understand you make assumptions right and you also take things personally one of the four agreements is don't take things personally but most of the time when you don't understand something you take it personally but again it's not your job to stick around and, and give everybody your energy and over explain yourself to say, hey, this is what I'm doing and this is how it works and this is where I'm going. So I need your approval and I need you to give me a fucking tick, right? So that I feel better about myself. So now I can freely continue my path of success. Okay, so be mindful of that because a lot of the times when we're not in our power, when we're not in our confidence, it's very easy for you to limit yourself to go, you know what? oh, you know, they, I don't think they're going to like it or, you know, maybe they're going to judge me or maybe my family's not going to agree. And that's why, you know, it is so freaking important for you to have the confidence in yourself because without the confidence in yourself, you are going to be constantly limiting yourself and you're not going to expand into your power, into your greatness. Okay. I believe that we all have something special. We all have that greatness. But if you don't do the work, if you don't learn to love yourself, if you don't step into your power, if you don't surround yourself with the right energy, if you continue to live in a fear-based mindset, if you continue to keep doing what you've always done, nothing will change and you'll keep repeating. You have two options, evolve or repeat. Question yourself right now, like sit there and go, am I evolving or am I repeating? And if you pay attention to my journey, if you're watching this on Spotify or on YouTube, you keep seeing me change location. I know, I move around. A moment ago, I was in Latvia. A moment ago, I was in Poland. A moment ago, I was in London doing our Unlock Your Greatness event in London. A moment ago, I was in the US, but I'm constantly changing, growing, implementing new things, working on stuff, becoming a better version of myself. And this is why I'm living my life. This is why I feel good. This is why I don't have depression. This is why I don't have time for fucking depression. Like that's one thing they want to, where you want to pay attention to. I can't even think about being depressed because I've got too many fucking responsibilities. I've got too much shit to do. You know, it's like, boom, get up and fucking go, man. Let's go. Time is of the essence. The fucking time keeps ticking. The shit keeps going fucking. It's like, you can't even press pause on the clock because it just keeps going. So it's like, well, if it keeps going, you got to catch up to the time because you're going to lose the time. And when you lose the time, you can't fucking buy it. And then you're going to get to fucking 20 years down the track and go, oh my God, where did the time go? You know, and that's why I'm here to freaking help you to unlock your greatness quicker, to become aware that you're the one that's in your own way. And if you don't change the way you think, the way you think won't change. And then your reality keeps being the same because your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts create your reality. The way you think about yourself is what you believe about yourself. And what you believe about yourself is who you are. And who you are is going to determine what you attract in your fucking life. I know I'm speaking a lot of facts here and you're tuning in and you're listening and you're like, Luke, slow down. I'm trying to take it all in and it's fucking making so much sense to me. But damn, make it a mission of yours to figure out your life's work. Make it a mission of yours to open your heart and tell your story. Make it a mission of yours to better your communication. Make it a mission of yours to build superpowered confidence. Make it a mission of yours to learn to appreciate who it is that you are. Make it a mission of yours to spend more time with you than you do on everything else that you give your time and attention to. Make it a mission of yours to figure out who you truly are because a lot of us are just lost in the fucking world. We're lost in what other people are doing. We're comparing ourselves to others. We don't know really what our greatness is or what our purpose is or what we came here to achieve. We just got lost along the way. But let me tell you the beautiful thing about this, man. The beautiful thing that you're lost is amazing. You're probably going, I feel like that, Luke. I feel like I'm lost. I'm like, beautiful. There's the best thing that could happen to you is for you to be lost because guess what? Now we can go on a new journey of finding yourself again because that was what happened to me five and a half years ago. I was fucking lost, lost in fucking cocaine, lost in alcohol, lost in the fucking friends, comparing myself to them, lost in thinking that I wasn't good enough because girls were rejecting me and I'm not worthy of love and I'm not worthy of becoming successful because I've been in debt for so many years and I'm fucking, I've just been working in a government job. So I make up my own stories in my mind because of these circumstances and relationships and all this shit that's going on. I'm not intelligent. I didn't go to university. All these bullshit stories that I made up in my own mind that I'm not good enough. 
So I decided to fucking remove myself from all that shit and go on my journey of self-discovery, self-creation, figuring out who's Luke. And I'm telling you that if I can do this, so can you. And that's why I'm saying it doesn't matter where the fuck you are in your life. If you're fucking 27, 37, 57, 65, 75, it doesn't matter. Man, age is fucking just a number. You know, it's what you feel. And maybe you don't feel the best because you haven't been treating and taking care of yourself the most. And maybe your environment is also very unhealthy and toxic for you, which lowers your vibrational frequency, lowers your energy. You don't feel good about yourself. And so you're fucking lazy. And that's why you're fucking depressed because you're in the wrong environment. It's not that you, you, you got issues, that you got mental problems. It's that you're in the wrong environment. You become what you surround yourself with. A lot of us have been labeled with fucking shit. And the only reason why we're labeled with shit is because of the environment that we're living in is because of it's fucking toxic and it's disgusting and it's fucking negative. And negativity is a fucking devil. Negativity is fucking causing your mind to be on such a low frequency that you don't believe in yourself and you feel like shit. And when you feel like shit, you don't like doing nothing. You don't want to be nothing. How can you fucking want to live your dreams when you feel like shit? You don't. You don't want to get out of bed. You want to fucking watch movies and lose yourself in fucking that fucking dream world, a fantasy world, of fucking Netflix and shit. So it's up to you to go, where, where am I putting my energy? What am I doing? How am I conditioning my mind? What am I watching? What am I watching? Because whatever you focus on, it expands. It becomes you. You become it. Don't, don't sit here listening to this podcast or if you're on TikTok or Facebook or Instagram right now, you're live and you're watching me. Don't sit there in your fucking, uh, you know, sorrows thinking, oh my gosh. My life is, you know, I've lost so much time or wasted so much of my life or I've been in a fucking shit relationship for 20 years. I can't believe I haven't left yet or I can't believe that I haven't had the courage to step up and speak my truth and be confident in myself and I know that I'm, I'm in my own way. I know my own, my, my own worst enemy and I can't believe that it's happened and, you know, this and that and, you know, maybe life is just the way that it's supposed to be, you know. And then you can fall into that victim mindset of like this is just how it is and it's like, no, it's not. It's okay for you to have lived your life the wrong way. You're supposed to live wrong before you go, well, if I've been living wrong, let me fucking change it. Let me, let me make it right. That's, that's, that's fine. I'm just here to remind you it's okay, you know, but it's not, what's not okay is to fucking sit in your sorrows and complain and go fucking hell, you know, life is shit, you know, it's been fucking crap. And I went to this relationship and this relationship, then I had fucking three kids, then, then they left me or whatever, whatever your circumstances are, or maybe you just keep going from shit job to shit job and people keep treating you like crap. And you've gotten to a point where what will happen is you'll make up your own fucking story in your own head that you're not worthy of success, that you're not worthy of a healthy relationship, that people don't approve of you or that people keep rejecting you. And so you are not good enough, right? And when you have these insecurities and this codependent nature, when you were not loved enough or encouraged enough when you were a child and you were seeking approval, you wanted that attention and you never got it as a child, you're going to be people pleasing. You're going to be trying to prove yourself to, to other people when really the only person that you need to prove yourself to yourself is you. The only person that you need to show up to is yourself. The person that has all the power in your life is the person that you have to live with for the rest of your life. And that's fucking you. It's your responsibility to go, man, I'm fucking amazing. I've got my own power. I know who I am. In order for you to build that confidence, man, it requires a time, energy, investment into you saying, yes, man, I can do this for me. I can become more than who I am because you can, you can grow. You can put time and energy into you. You know, like Jim Rohn says, you know, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Many of us are working harder on our job trying to make more money when really you understand that you don't get paid for your time. You get paid for the value that you bring to the marketplace and the value comes from who you are. Don't work on fucking your job. Work harder on yourself. The only reason I've become so successful is I keep working on myself. I keep growing. I keep becoming better. I'm better, more confident. I keep expanding. It's been amazing to spend some more time with you. Don't give up on yourself. I believe in you. I feel like, uh, you know, you're, you're meant to be here. There's a reason why you're tuning into this podcast. And if you're loving this energy, make sure that you share this with your friends because we need to help the world. How do we change the world? We change the world by changing ourselves, but we also can spread so much energy and good vibes by sending people this energy, this podcast episode to your friends because you never know who might be struggling and they need this energy. They need to hear some motivation. They need to hear the best motivational speaker in the freaking world, wake them up to their greatness. And also join us on the, on the 4th of January, Unlock Your Greatness 
conference live in Sydney. It's a full day with myself and DJ Danilo as well. If you love him, it's going to be freaking amazing. If you're ready to dance your way into 2024, this is an event that you do not want to miss. Okay. So um, the tickets are in the description uh, below. And uh, I just, you know, honestly, uh, I don't know. It's like life can change very quickly and life does go very quickly. You know, all of a sudden I decided to change 2018 and it's 2023. And that's why I'm saying like you can either live your fears or live your dreams. And, you know, I decided that that's enough, man. I want to live my dreams and time flies. And you do, you literally, there's a quote out there that says, you know, you wake up one day and, and you'll be living your dreams. You'll be doing like exactly what you believed in and showed up for. And it doesn't happen overnight. It happens when you don't give up, when you keep learning. But anyway, guys, I love you all. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on yourself. Keep pushing forward. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, this journey, I couldn't be uh, doing this without all of you. Um, and, you know, I can't wait for what's to come because there is so much to come. 2024 is going to be freaking crazy. And, you know, looking forward to coming back to Australia as well, seeing my family and uh, and having this amazing uh, conference, Unlock Your Greatness, live in Sydney. It's going to be freaking powerful. And I can't wait to see you all there. So anyway, guys, sending you so much love. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. If you're ready to grow and reach your full potential and find inner peace, send me a DM that says, I want inner peace, and I'll send you the next steps. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. When you change your mind, you change your whole life. So don't hesitate and send that DM over to me. Myself and my team can't wait to meet you and witness your transformation in full glory. See you next week.